Alright you guys, so Chawan Kwa here once again. Best Dota 2 player this world's ever fucking seen. We're back. Alright. Who is we? I don't know. It's just something you're gonna have to deal with. Alright. So anyway, Chawan Kwa. And you know, where's the videos you guys? Everyone's asking where are the videos? And the truth is you guys, making videos is just... Right now when I play Dota 2, I'm trying to enjoy the game. I'm trying to improve my mindset. I'm trying to be a better player. I'm trying to be a better teammate, a better person when I'm playing Dota 2, all right? Because it's a road to high priority, right? Well, it turns out when I try to record videos, I don't really have anything beneficial to say because eventually everything that's wrong with the game there's so many things that are wrong with the game, you guys. And when it happens, when they appear in-game, I can't just not talk about it. Because the truth is, the only thing that there is to be said about the game are mentioning all the flaws with it as they arise, as they come up. And so here I abandoned. My internet went down in this Marana game. I got an abandoned. So I had to play low priority. And during this Ursa game and this Lena game, I started them off recording videos. I was going to make, you know, just a commentary. And I just realized just how upsetting the game is in low priority, in, in the game, the game in general, but especially in low priority. And let's just go to this Ursa game. I just want to show you guys just how frustrating the game is. Maybe... Now, I don't know, you guys. All I know is I'm the best Dota 2 player this world's ever fucking seen. I want to show you guys some Dota psychology. Not some Dota psychology, some YouTube psychology. All right, so it's a mixture of YouTube psychology with Dota psychology. So here I am. I'm the Ursa. I got first blood from my team. I'm not going to show you how, but it was all me. And I think at this point in the video, I DC'd for a pause so that I could check someone's profile to make a point of them being dog shit. Because look at this Nyx assassin, you guys. And maybe we actually have to go back a bit further. You can see the Nyx assassin. He's trying to contest my CS. All right. And this is what's just wrong with the game. And there's going to be some serious hypocrisy in this video, you guys, just so you, just so you're aware. All right. Because remember, low priority is a place where we can improve upon ourselves. You know, it's a time for reflection. Alright, low priority is actually a great thing. And you see how this Nyx Assassin is trying to contest CS with me right there? He's canceling his attacks. It's actually so frustrating that he does this. It's so tilting, even though it's such a minuscule thing. But just the fact that I'm trying to play a safe lane carry Ursa, and I'm planning on carrying this game, and I'm going to win the game for my fucking team. I'm going to dumpster everybody. Alright. I'm going to dumpster fucking everybody. Just And I know that this is the end result. Me shitting on everyone. I know that's the end result. That's why it's so tilting that the Nyx Assassin does this stuff. All right. So while I'm recording my video and I'm trying to just make a nice video for you guys, I can't help it. Right there. He did it again. All right. He's trying to go, go for these last hits. He's trying to fuck on me. He DDoSed me right there. And he just, he just fucks over the entire flow of the game while I'm trying to record a video. And it's so tilting, you guys. It's so tilting. And I think I get DDoSed a couple times because I started tilting really hard. I said, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to play this little party game. I'm just going to dumpster everyone. I started feeding. Unintentionally feeding. I was really tilted. I was wandering around in the Dota Psychiatric Hospital. And what is the moral of the story, guys? I don't even know. I don't even know the moral of the fucking story. All right. All I know is that I really want to enjoy this game. I really want to play the game and just have a good time. Have fun. And the biggest obstacle for me is the other players in the game. No one wants to work together. No one wants to be friendly towards each other. No one understands that. Well, they do understand, but no one emphasizes the fact that if we're going to have maximum enjoyment of this game, we need to fucking win. 
by any means necessary, we need to win this game. And when I have a Nyx Assassin contesting my creep kills in the thir 30 seconds in the game in low priority, and I'm trying to record a video, it just pisses me off, you guys. That's why I haven't been uploading videos. I get tilted in this game. I get tilted so fucking easily. And it just makes me say nothing but negative things. And that's why I haven't really been making videos. I'm trying to enjoy the game, but I'm just not that good at enjoying the game. Quite simply. I have been getting better, but at the end of the day, there's so many things that will just frustrate me. And even though that's such a minuscule thing, there's, there's countless others. For example, teammates that don't speak my language. Games where all my teammates are significantly lower rated than me. Those are way more tilting than a Nyx Assassin. Last hitting creeps in low priority. But, you know, just to give you, just to let you guys know, you know, just so you guys are aware. And my computer's going ape shit right now. So, all right, so that was the. Oh, and someone also fucked with my career over here. And that really tilted me too. So let's see, next game, you guys. Next game, we have this Kanka in this game. All right, I was Lena. And I'm, I'm going to be honest, you guys, the scoreboard tilts me. It pisses me off. It makes me want to talk bad about the game because look how bad it is. You used to be able to just go click and boom. You see the heroes. You see the score. You see win-loss. You see everything. And all of a sudden, you have this, this skins. You see the roleplay shit. It's just it's so frustrating. I don't care about net worth at the end of the game. That's so fucking irrelevant. It's even more irrelevant than kill-death ratio. And I can't even, at a glance, just instantly see the score anymore because I have to look at all this roleplay crap. So that's another thing that just tilts me. And I'm trying not to get tilted by it. Because I know, you know, someone over at Valve probably put in a lot of time into the scoreboard. The problem is they don't actually play the game that they're working on. So, unfortunately, they can't really tell that this is actually just a waste of time. So, you know, a moment of silence for the one person over at Valve that actually works on this game. And it is unfortunate that he tries so hard to make this game so great. But his efforts just aren't, you know, they're just not focused on where they need to be. And it's not his fault, you guys. It's a community's fault for actually not emphasizing what they want to be changed and making a reddit post you know that's making a reddit post isn't going to do fucking anything all right just so you guys are aware of that going and crying on reddit isn't going to get your fucking game fixed all right so we're we're kind of off topic right now i don't know what i don't know what we were talking about but let's go back to this fucking low priority game and let me it's after i got my bottle so okay so i got my bottle I think I went top, we killed everyone top, and it was here, I went back mid, so right here. Maybe it wasn't exactly right here, bear with me you guys. Bear with me. It was sometime around here, I was literally just waiting for Kunkka to cast his fucking spell. That's all this kid needed to do was attempt to stun the Ursa, he just wouldn't stun though, he wouldn't do anything. So I said, okay, fuck it, I'm going to go get the top rune. Why? And I see the Kunk is going for the rune. I'm not going to let him get the rune. He's not casting his spells. I'm going to get the fucking rune. I'm Chao Wan I'm the Dota Psychiatric Hospital. I'm just going to get the fucking rune. And you know what? I'm going to get the bottom rune too. Because there's nothing else to do right now. And I see this Kunk is following me and I'm sitting here thinking, there's no way I'm going to let this guy get the rune because it's the correct play to make. The correct play to make is for me to take the rune. And what does he do? He just starts fucking feeding the rest of the game. Alright, he just starts feeding. Walking down mid the whole game. And there's nothing I can do about it. I'm over here, I'm making massive plays, I'm killing everybody, I'm 7-0. I'm buying dust, I'm warding, I already have a Yules, I'm a support Lena, I'm dumpstering everybody. And... The Kunkka just decides to feed because I took the rune. Because he it just does not have the skill level required to comprehend the fact 
then I'm carrying him, and I'm going to carry the game, and I'm going to win the game for him. Instead, he says, no, I'm good at the game. Someone took my rune. I'm going to feed because I'm really good, and I should have had the rune. That's exactly what's going through this guy's mind. The entire, and this guy's got 7,000 hours on the game, and he's 3k MMR. And he ends up feeding a gem, and then what does he do, you guys? Eventually, this is where the, the real psychology came into play, you guys, because... I'm not really gonna, you know, I'm not too mad at Kunkka for throwing the game. Because who hasn't thrown a game? And I know it's low priority. I should be able to win this game anyway. But eventually, I just felt really bad because... Let's see if I could skip to it. Sometime around here. The Kunkka does nothing except... Or we, we actually can't see. He does nothing... But, use his X on the Slardar. So the Slardar's X right here. It's a replay bug. And this poor fucking Slardar, you guys. This poor fucking Slardar just was hopeless. There was absolutely nothing he could do. <laughs> this fucking cunt. <laughs> this, this Slardar. This poor fucking Slardar, you guys. And this Kanka that was making me so mad was somehow bringing joy to my game. Alright. And it was just a roller coaster of emotions. And I just felt so bad for the Slardar. What could he actually do? The Slardar doesn't know how to disable help. He's not he's not at that level. Alright. You know, he needs at least another 5,000 hours on the game before he'll ever figure that out. And this fucking conk And all the while, we're having this insanely close match. Wow, we just can't do anything. Fortunately, the Weaver had a little bit of a brain. And was able to get some Rat Dota in. And, you know, it was just a... Uh, it was just unbelievable, you guys. In the words of Banana Slam Jam, it was unbelievable... The level of psychology that you get in this game. Alright, and it, it's just, there's nothing really to say about it, you guys. You can only just see it for what it is. And that's a giant fucking shit show. Alright, I'm the best Dota 2 player this world's ever fucking seen, by the way. Not sure if I mentioned that. So, you know, moral of the fucking story, you guys. Why is there no videos? Because when I go to make videos, you guys, the game just tilts the shit out of me. And it isn't until I've already said, you know what, it's not worth it. It's not, it's, it's not until I say, you know what, fuck this game, fuck this video. I'm just going to play the game. This game's not designed to be talking and playing at the same time. I'm just going to play the game and just fucking finish this shit. It's not until after that and I've already turned off the video... That the true entertainment in the game begins. And it's just it's just rather fucking unfortunate. Okay, so anyway, moral of the fight. And I think I, I got DDoSed right here. I must have gotten DDoSed right there. And let's see, what's some more? I think the sniper even gets some of that too. I think it, start, it happens to the sniper eventually. And we, we must have gotten DDoSed again. So, <laughs> right here you guys, the poor fucking sniper. And... All because I went for a rune. All because it was a correct play to make to take that invis rune for myself. I'm a fucking Lena. Lena needs runes, you guys. And this poor sniper, he was just trying to enjoy the game. He was just trying to have the time of his life. Just trying to have a good game, you know. For all we know, this poor sniper works all day, works 12-hour shifts. He gets one good, one good game a day, and this was it. And all he could really do was just absolutely fucking nothing. All he could do was just get X'd. And fortunately, I'm the best fucking Lena this world. I think I got DDoSed again right here, though. But fortunately, I am the best Lena the world's ever fucking seen. Me and Weaver were able to finish it off. We got DDoSed right there. And yeah, so best fucking Dota 2 player this world's ever fucking seen. This, I'm gonna be honest. You go. I'm gonna be honest though, you guys. This game would have been over 
if they didn't have a fucking Dazzle. The game would have been a 20 minute shit show. The Dazzle is the only reason they lasted this long. And the game is over. The game is fucking over. And to add on to the psychology of that, the low priority was because my internet went out. So I didn't actually deserve this low priority for once. I didn't actually deserve the low priority. And this Phoenix loss, the game wasn't, it wasn't even a game. All right, someone left. And these were the five hardest low priorities I've ever fucking played, you guys. I actually, that's actually not true. This this was actually pretty easy low priority. But anyway, moral of the fucking story. I don't know, you guys. I don't know how many times I've already said that by now. But, you know, moral of the fucking story is...